job here, Lori. Yes, good morning, you guys. We are talking about house plant happy hour at Secret Garden. Now, when I met Jennifer, I did not own a single plant in the house. No okay. house plants. Now, I have three. I'm nice. very proud. I'm building my collection. Jennifer has 147 what? in Whoa. her home. Oh, my god! So we will be going to see those at some point. Absolutely. <laughs> but if I'm going to learn from anyone how to keep a house plant alive, I'm going to go with this girl right here because she knows her stuff. And this is this uh, idea of house plant happy hour to share some of that knowledge. And for people, maybe like you in studio, if there's any of you that don't think you can keep a house plant alive, you will prove that there are plants that you can. Exactly. It's all about finding the right plant for the right place. So you, you can buy plants two ways. You either go somewhere and find this fabulous plant that you fall in love with, and now you take it home and you have to find the place where it's going to live well, or you have just the spot on your kitchen counter and you know what kind of light it gets, and then you come here and you say, I need a plant for the kitchen counter and it doesn't get much light, what works? Right plant, right place. And what's cool is when you walk in here into Secret Garden, you come inside, you can kind of look around and make those decisions based on where the plants are in here. So if you see a plant in the middle of the room, you know that it doesn't need that direct sunlight. If it's over here on the windowsill, then obviously it needs to be placed a little bit closer to some light. But for the house plant happy hour, you're gonna show people how to do a few different things and you have a little demo for us. Thank you. Well, the number one trick with keeping plants alive is about light and water, right? So this time of year, as the temperature changes a little bit, it's important to regulate your watering. So we like to show people how to use a very simple trick. This is nothing more than a little bamboo skewer you can pick up at the grocery store. Now, if I take this plant and I tell you that that plant should dry out before you water it again, and I stick the little stick in here, it's a lot like testing a cupcake to see if um, the cupcake's done. Mm -hmm. When I pull it back out, can you see how wet that is? Yeah, it does not need water. It does not need water. So little tricks like that. Um, in cold weather, we water our plants a little bit less, and you don't want to overwater or you kill your plants. And when you look at Pinterest these days, house plants are being used as a way to decorate homes now. They've become really big with millennials. People want to fill up their space with the house plants. That's the truth, and the key there is just making sure that you don't buy a plant and then accidentally not take care of it well and have it die because then you get that horrible feeling that you have a black thumb. <laughs> Nobody has a black thumb. It's just about finding out which plants work for you. If you could only water once a month, we have plants for that. If you like to micromanage a plant, then we have plants that you could sit there and over-dramatize and be misting all the time so right. that, oh, I love to water my plant. Well, you better pick one that loves <laughs> to be watered, right? I love it. All right, so a house plant happy hour is happening real quick, the date. It is um, the first Tuesday of every month, so this time it's coming up March 3rd. Okay, great way to kind of figure it all out, get some great tips from the pro. Um, and if you guys don't have house plants at home and you can only water once a month, there's something here for you. I'll send okay. it back to you. Right. House plants, little bevy. Are you in? I'm actually in. I'm kind of intrigued because I've killed well, every house plant that I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> For our viewers that are watching that are like one toe in, that are dangling, yeah. there's a glass of wine involved. True. So the glass of wine gets True. you in, loosens you up a little, <laughs> then you can figure it all out. Now, while you're there, talk her into letting us go to her house and watch her water all these plants. Yes. Because that that's would be what a I great life. That's happening. Okay, good. Fantastic. That's happening.